Hello everybody. Today is October 2nd, 2014. And it's uh, it's about 80 some degrees today. It's been in the 60s and the 70s. And it's supposed to drop back down there this weekend. Brr. I don't like the fall. And I don't like the wintertime. Spring is my favorite. But that's not what you're here for. Did you hear about the woman who is, her name is Jennifer Cramblett. She, uh, she received the sperm of a black man at a sperm donor place. She went to be uh, inseminated. Uh, she has a partner, Amanda Zincon. They are a lesbian couple wanting to have a child. Um, they went to a sperm bank. And, you know, at sperm banks, you can go through the files of particular sperm donors. And you can basically pick out your choices for what you would like to have. Both women were blonde hair, blue eyes. They wanted a child to uh, resemble that, to have the blonde hair and the blue eyes. So they went through the list of donors, found a blonde hair, blue eyed donor, and went with that. That was donor number 380. Five months into the pregnancy, uh, they were notified that there had been a mix up and that they were accidentally inseminated with vial 330 because someone thought since it was handwritten they got the eight mixed up with the three and uh, she was inseminated with vial number 330 that was the vial of an african-american man sperm company then told her we're sorry about the mix-up we can no longer have dealings with you uh, they hung up on her she got a letter the next week in the mail with the same apology and also got a full refund. She later gave birth to a beautiful little girl. The little girl is now two years old. And the lesbian couple is now suing the sperm donor place of business. And a lot of people say, well, you don't have a right to sue. You've got a beautiful baby girl. Why would you sue? They say they love their daughter. They say they love their daughter very much. But that somebody has to pay. Uh, they wanted a child, since they're both lesbians, <coughs> and would not want to conceive in the natural way, uh, they wanted a child that would be a reflection of the both of them, a blonde-haired, blue-eyed child. Instead, they have uh, <coughs> a biracial little girl. The little girl is a beautiful little girl, and they love her dearly. But it's obvious that she is biracial. And to a lot of people in society, never consider anybody biracial. They consider that child to be black. Uh, just like everybody considers President Obama to be black, when in fact, he's not black at all. He's biracial. And if I was his mother, I would be insulted at the fact that he calls himself the first black president. Because that's not the case. He is the first biracial president. Um, but anyway, so they are suing. Then uh, some people say, well, what are you going to tell this child later on in life? Won't she feel insulted that you sued the sperm bank? And she was a product of that? And that she's going to feel like you didn't love her? No, <clears throat> she won't feel that way at all. Not if everything is said correctly. <clears throat> because it's such a thing... They wanted what they wanted. They wanted what they were told they could have. They went through months of preparation and picking. And because of one person's mistakes, we're told, we can't talk to you anymore. You got what you got. It's not fair. It's not right. And even though they do love their daughter, it would be the same thing. You know, this child is going to have a lot of stigma as far as being the child of lesbian mothers. You know, they could say, who's your daddy? I don't, I've got two moms. You know, lesbian mothers. And she's going to be obviously different from them. Uh, it would be the same as the parents suing a hospital because if a doctor delivered your baby and put too much pressure on the baby's head and caused brain damage, you have a right to sue that hospital. You have a right to sue that doctor, even though your baby is still alive. 
Even though you love your baby with all your heart. Just like I love mine back here. You would still have a right to sue because if it weren't for that doctor's negligence, you would have a healthier baby and your baby would be able to live a healthier, happier life. This little girl, when she gets up in school, maybe uh, has some stigmas against her already for being biracial, depending on where you live. A lot of places don't, but some places still do. And being the product of a lesbian couple. <clears throat> so things might be a little bit harder for her than they would be ordinarily. So what do you think? Do you think that the lesbian couple has a right to sue the sperm bank? Do you think that they should have conceived the natural way through a friend? Do you think that they shouldn't have a child at all? What's your take on this? Miss Frilly, you want to come get in the video? Come on. Come on. He's looking at me. He usually gets in all my videos, but he won't get in my video now. Come on, Mr. Freddy. Come here. Here he comes. Hang on. Come on. Let's see if I can get him. Come here, Mr. Freddy. Now he's going to eat his cookie. Anyway, he didn't want to be seen. He just wanted to be heard. Anyway, so what do you think? Leave your comments. And until next time, bye-bye.